Hey everyone, my name is Akanyo Divine Love. Welcome to the class. Today we shall be solving some of our examination past questions on mathematics. Let's begin. 1. Find the coefficient of 10p. A coefficient is a number in front of a variable or a number used to multiply a variable. 10p means that 10 is a coefficient and p is a variable. Hence, the coefficient of 10p is 10. Question 2. Find the number x such that when 25 is added, the result is 75. From the question, we got the following equation. x plus 25 equals 75. Making x the subject of the formula, we have x equals 75 minus 25 equals 50. Sorry. A man bought a radio for 1,000 naira and sold for 1,002. What is the profit percentage? Solution. Profit percentage equals selling price minus cost price all over cost price multiplied by 100 equals 1,002 minus 1,000 all over 1,000 multiplied by 100. We have 200 over 1,000 multiplied by 100 giving us 20 percentage and option B is the correct answer. Question 4. Solve 5 open bracket y plus 2 close bracket equals 4 open bracket y minus 1 close bracket. Solution. We start by opening the bracket. We have 5 open multiplied by y which will give us 5y plus 5 multiplied by 2 which will give us 10 equals 4 multiplied by y will give us 4y minus 4 multiplied by 1 will give us 4. Collecting like times we have 5y minus 4y equals minus 4 minus 10. 5y minus 4y will give us y equals minus 4 minus 10 will give us minus 14. So the correct answer is option D. Number 5. A polygon with 10 sides is called what? The correct answer is option D, which is decagon. Question 6. A student is picked at random from a class containing 17 boys and 13 girls. What is the probability that the student is a girl? Solution. Total number of students equals 17 plus 13 equals 30. The probability of the student being a girl equals 13 all over 30. 7. A cone is 8 cm high and has base diameter of 12 cm. Its light height is dash. Solution. Using Pythagoras theory, H raised to power 2 equals 8 raised to power 2 plus 6 raised to power 2. H 8 raised to power 2 will give us 64 plus 6 raised to power 2 will give us 36. 64 plus 36 will give us 100. H equals 100 squared will give us 10 cm. And the correct answer is option C. Question 8. Calculate the following in base 2. 102, 101 minus 10. Solution. Putting them in 100 tens and units, we have 1 minus 0, which will give us 1. 0 minus 1, it cannot go. Then we borrow 1 there. And bear in mind that we are, we are solving in base 2. That 1 you borrowed now becomes 2. So 2 minus 1 will give us 1. So the correct answer is option C. A number is multiplied by itself. The result is 5 4 number 4 over 9. Find the number. Let x be the number. We have x raised to power 2 equals 5 4 number 4 over 9. Converting the mixed fraction into improper fraction, we multiply the whole number with the denominator and add the numerator to it. That is 5 multiplied by 9 plus 4, which will give us 49. So we have 49 over 9. When we square them, we have 7 over 3. That is, four, 49 being squared will give us 7, and 9 being squared will give us 3. So the number we are looking for is 7 over 3. And the correct answer is option A. Number 10. A bag contains 20 red, 15 yellow, and 25 blue balls. Uncle K takes one from the bag. Find the probability that the ball is A, red, B, yellow, C, blue, D, red, or yellow. Solution. Total number of balls equals 20 plus 15 plus 25 equals 16. Probability of the ball being red. We have 20 all over 60 equals 1 over 3. How do we got that? You divide to the least. 20 dividing itself, we have 1. 20 divided by 60, we have 3. 
the probability of the ball being Y, being yellow, we have 15 all over 60 equals 1 over 4. That is 15 divided by itself, we have 1. 15 divided by 60, we have 4. Probability of the ball being blue, we have 25 over 60. 25 divided by 5, we have 5. 60 divided by 5, we have 12. So the probability of the ball being blue is 5 over 12. Probability of the ball being red or yellow. We have 1 over 3, which is the probability of the ball being red, plus 1 over 4, which is the probability of the ball being yellow. So solving them, we have to plus them together. First of all, you find the LCM of the two numbers, that is 3 and 4. And the LCM is 12. So we have 12 divided by 3, which will give us 4 multiplied by 1. We have 4 plus 12 divided by 4, which will give us 3 multiplied by 1. We have 3. So we have 4 plus 3, giving us 7 all over 12. So the probability of the ball being red or yellow is 7 all over 12. Question number 11. Find the size of the lettered angle in the figure below. Solution. Here we have angle on a straight line. And usually angle on a straight line is 180 degree. So to get the number of the missing angle, we add the numbers of the given angles and subtract it with 180. Okay. 25 plus b plus 75 equals 180 adding them together that is 25 plus b plus 75 we have 100 b equals 180 making b the subject of the formula we have b equals 180 minus 100 which will give us 80. question 12 solve 2 open bracket x plus 15 close bracket equals 18. Solution. Opening the bracket, we have 2 multiplied by x, which is 2x, plus 2 multiplied by 15, which is 30, equals 18. Making 2x the subject, we have 2x equals 18 minus 30. 2x equals minus 12. That is 18 minus 30 is minus 12. So making x now the subject, we have minus 12 all over 2. Minus 12 all over 2, and that will give us minus 6. Remember, when a mathematical operator crosses the sign of equality, it changes. In this case, the 2x we have here means 2 multiplied by x. And crossing the equality signs, the multiplication sign there changes to division sign. That's why we have minus 12 all of, divided by 2, which gives us minus 6. So the correct answer is option C. A trader bought a bottle of wine at 6.15 Naira. She sold it and made 10% profit. What was the selling price? Solution. Firstly, we solve for the profit amount. The formula to use is 10% profit equals 10 all over 100 multiplied by 6.50, which will give us 6,500 all over 100. And we have 65 Naira as the profit amount. Selling price equals cost price plus profit. That is 650 plus 65 Naira. And that will give us 715 Naira. And option A is the correct answer. Question 14. Find the LCM of 8 and 9. To solve this, we start with a list number that can divide both or either of the given integers. Here we don't have any number that can divide both. So we are going to divide them one after the other. Why bringing down the order along? Let's use 2 to divide. 2 divided by 4, we have 4. We bring down the 9 because 2 cannot divide 9. 2 divided by 4, we have 2. We also bring down the 9. 2 divided by 2, we have 1. We bring down the 9. Now we have finished with 2. Let's use 3. 3 divided by 1, we bring down the 1. 3 divided by 9, we have 3. Another 3. 3 divided by 1, we bring down the 1. 3 divided by 3, we have 1. So we are going to multiply all the dividers to get our answer. That is 2 multiplied by 2, we give us 4. Multiply by 2, we give us 8. 8 multiplied by 3, we have 24. 24 multiplied by 3, we have 72. So 72 is the LCM of 8 and 9.
the least but not the last question. The pair chart shows the proportion of the cost of producing a television set. The total cost of production is 18,000 Naira. A. What fraction of total cost is spent on labor? B. Find the difference between the cost of labor and material. Solution. A circle has a total of 360 degrees. To get the labor size, we add material and overhead and then subtract 360 from it. In doing so, we, we will have 210. So, solving for the fraction of total cost on labor, we have 210 over 360. Dividing them to the least number, we have 7 all over 12. B. Cost of labor equal 210 all over 360 multiplied by 18,000. That will give us 7 over 12 multiplied by 18,000. That will give us 10,500 naira. Cost of material. The material is 90. So we have 90 over 360 multiplied by 18. That will give us 1 over 4. That's dividing them to the least number. We have 1 over 4 multiplied by 18,000 naira. That will give us 4,500. So to find the difference between the cost of labor and material, we are going to subtract 10,500 to 4,500. Because different, different to find a difference of a particular thing means simply means to subtract this from this. So we have 10,500 minus 4,500 that will give us 6,000 naira. A little assignment for you. After solving, please send your answers to jimosmith at edufest.ng. Thank you and have a lovely day.